Hello everyone and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Snoopt and today we are going to learn how to use large language models with Comfy UI. Yes, you heard it right. Thanks to its infinite expandability through plugins, Comfy UI also allows us to load models that have nothing to do with stable diffusion, enabling us to combine multiple things simultaneously. Uh, the custom notes I've used are Comfy UI end nodes uh, developed by me and Comfy UI custom scripts, which is one of my favorite suites of custom nodes from which I've drawn a lot of inspiration. The links are in the description. So let's dive right into the installation of these two libraries. First, head over to the Comfy UI custom scripts GitHub repository. Copy the repository link and clone it using the git clone command in the custom nodes directory inside the Comfy UI folder. Next, go to the Comfy UI and nodes GitHub repository and do the same. Now for the GPT node, you need to run the install dependency.bat file. And since Llama CPP Python needs to be compiled from source code, to enable GPU usage, you'll need to have CUDA and the compiler installed. For CUDA installation, simply follow the link in the description, which will take you to the NVIDIA website where you can choose the CUDA version that suits you. For instance, I've installed version 11.6 for Windows. Regarding the compiler, uh, there are many options. Personally, since I already had Visual Studio 2022 installed with the active C++ compiler, I didn't need to do much. As explained in the official llama.cpp documentation, you can also use a compiler like W64 DevKit. His link is also in the description. Uh, alternatively, if you're not interested in using the GPU, you can simply run this command from the Python embedded folder and install the latest version of Llama CPP Python, which utilizes only the CPU at the cost of slower prompt generation. However, be aware that I haven't personally tested this version of Llama CPP Python, so I cannot guarantee that there won't be any issues. If you already had models in quantized N format, you can modify the extra model paths.yaml file Add this section to indicate the main folder containing the models folder with various models. If you do not already have models, go ahead and create a folder called GP Checkpoints in the models folder where you can put them after the download. Um, a well-known repository where you can download this type of models is the Blokes repository on Hugging Face. With this done, let's launch Comfy UI, and we're ready to start our first workflow with a large language model. Um, for this example, we will create a node that generates a horror story, and another node that extracts tags from the story, which we'll then use to generate an image related to our story. Um, our main prompt will be, uh, you are a bot that like to generate horror story Please generate me an amazing one. Um, let's proceed to create the GPT loader simple node that will load our model. Select the checkpoint, the number of layers to be loaded into the GPU. More layers use more VRAM, but also result in faster processing. Uh, adjust the number of threads in maximum context used by our model. Um, until recently, the standard was 2K. Uh, now, models are coming out with sizes like 16K or 32K. Now, let's create a second node called GPT Sampler, where we'll have various parameters to experiment with our models. The default settings I've provided are the ones I usually use. Uh, the prefix and suffix are also crucial as they are generally suitable for most models. However, I recommend check the specifications of the model you're using for more details. Uh, connect the custom output to the model input and the string output to the model path input. 
I suggest setting cache to no if you intend to generate a different output each time. Uh, for convenience, we'll use the show text node to display the generated output. Then connect it to a string function block that will combine the story generated by our model, considering that we want to extract tags from it. Turn off tidy tags. Uh, and in this case, the prompt that we will put in the fist part will be, you are a bot that like to extract tags from a given text. From this text, extract some crucial times, comma separated. Now let's create another GPT loader simple node connecting the same model, but with the prompt just generated. Great. And finally, let's proceed with the last part, where we'll use another string function block to combine the newly generated tags with fixed tags that we want. This will be our positive prompt. Let's also create a negative prompt for the occasion. Uh, now let's set up the usual workflow to quickly generate an image. Done. Now let's try running our little project. Amazing. And that wraps up today's session. I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to start to use large language models in Comfy UI. If it has, would you consider subscribing and leaving a like? It would be a great help to the channel. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And as always, keep dreaming. dreaming.